soap opera musical entitled 76 Kids Forever, which the press release says uh, combines the strange pop songs of Southern Sway with soap opera and dance. Now, they say it's best described as a 70s version of West Side Story mixed with Brookside and the singing detective. Well, after we've heard this extract performed live right here in the studio by Southern Sway, I'll be chatting to them and telling you how you can have Southern Sway performing especially for you in the comfort of your own home. But until such a moment, take it away, Southern Sway. Still in fact, you even set the fire alarms off. Saf, you even set the fire alarms off in the studio, just then. Mike McGuire, um, Simon, Pete, tell us a bit about this um, '76 Kids Forever. Because I mean, I know I've got the record here, which will be released on Monday. But can you tell us more about the sort of the, you know, the whole idea behind that? Yeah, um, probably a better title for it in the long run would have been '86 Kids Forever, because it's basically about today. But uh, we just use the '70s as a time when we all felt something and did something about each other which is very hard to feel today and um, it's a kind of a comparison between the generation that existed then and the generation that exists now and what happened to them but do you, I mean are you communicating to kids sort of experiencing it for the first time now or for people who have been through the 70s like yourself? Uh, well I think a bit of both really because people who were there I think it's up to them to begin to feel something for each other and for everybody in a, in a, in a, in a way which isn't possible at the moment so what, in more direct terms, what are you talking about that, that, that's wrong at the moment then? Is this just something musical, social or what? I mean obviously uh, the angle that we're coming from is the, is the music and uh, that's our primary interest. But um, this, the problem is obviously social at, uh, at the more extreme level and we've got to address that what, as well. What, how would you pinpoint it exactly? I think um, a general attitude of self-seeking, um, of self-preservation, and of um, overall cynicism and, and, and uh, just a fear of being able to do anything in a communal way. Yeah, when you mention self-seeking, I noticed on the album itself there's actually no photographs or even mention of your name, but members of the cast mm. of 
Seventy six kids. So it is actually it, it is a, a sort of a musical production. I mean, we. Yeah, I mean, uh, what we've been doing here is a kind of uh, sort of a little musical extract, as, as, as well as it's possible to be able to do in the context of a band. But mm. um, we're working on a sort of like little half hour piece that will right. be. Shown later in the year as well. And tell me, there's a, a phone line that people can actually phone in on and talk to Southern Sway on, isn't that? That's right. What's yeah. the number yeah. for that? Uh, oh eight nine eight four hundred four hundred two. And you can phone in and actually speak to Southern Sway themselves. Well, thanks very much for coming along tonight and giving us a little preview of things. Um, as I say, get on the blur, speak to the guys. 